7 o'clock, May 14, 2019, call to order. Tonight we're starting with a public hearing on a special amusement permit and the liquor license for John and April Pickett. Yeah. <laughs> we're sending a paper around for everybody to sign in for the public hearing, but if you guys want to know, I'm going to tell us how to do it. Sure. Um, my name is John Pickett. This is my wife, April. Um, I grew up in North Anson, um, graduated in 81. Um, coming back to this area, we uh, purchased the old Amy Lands um, back in December. And uh, hopefully opening sometime in July. It's uh, been quite a bit more than we thought it was since we went to it, rebuilding the place and whatnot. Um, all we're applying for is beer and wine at this point. Um, our hours are probably going to be no later than eight or nine. We're going to be a family style establishment. Um, pretty simple. Um, little bar in the dining room, three seats, four seats at the most. And very simple, just beer and wine and family style restaurant. You're going to be outside. The sun will be outside, correct? Sun will be, yeah. Seasonal patio. We can take the deck off the place, the walk in. Um, we also tore off the place. Uh, it was pretty rotten. And, uh, I think we're doing the, the river bank good service. Kind of getting rid of all that crap that's out back there and uh, replanting and just have some natural seats out back and uh, some lighting and uh, put up a fence eventually. Take out pizza. Take out music. <laughs> <laughs> take out. I'm sure the take out will be a lot as well. Who is going to take out? How many seats? 20 inside. Is it not 20? <laughs> There's, oh. we, we, we've opened it up. <laughs> so um, it's more kind of like power stools in some places around the actual bar they have. It's a portable bar, just six foot, probably just three, four seats there. How people end up, it should be very comfortable. Yeah. But I uh, take out as well. I think it's going to be huge. So it's good to see the Miller Madison. It's more actually over there. And, and traffic is just non stop through here. I just can't believe it. And when I grew up here, it, uh, it seems a lot easier. So, what about park? Well, it's that whole stretch along there that I assume, you know, that's where the property is. And, People have parked there for years. I think they've used it more at the turnaround over the past uh, um, so many years as of late. Um, I'm not sh exactly sure. You know, for for 20 people, you know, if you came with six cars, eight cars, it's going to fill that place up. Um, I expect it. You know, it's, it's going to be interesting to see how it, it, it lines up there. But people park accordingly. I don't see why it shouldn't be. It should be fine. Is it parking? No. No. no, no. Yeah, down by PC. Yeah, down to the cross road. I would have. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right, no, I would encourage any of this to wait to visit, especially on that side. And uh, I know in the past it's been issues with the house next door. Yeah. Um, that been taken care of? Super, security wise? Yeah. Well, it's. Uh, uh, people, people parking in there. Driveways and stuff. In the past years, there's been signs no far. Customers would probably see one of their. Yeah, I'd say that we've gone to know Dan and. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Our yeah. neighbors yeah. across the street would be very respectful. Yeah. I don't have no problem telling people when we're here, too. Yeah. You know what Unless it's just a season. Yeah, we're going to go all year round. Yeah, yeah, now somebody, uh, mm -hmm. is, so as close as that gets, is probably right about where Casey is. Right at Casey's, they're all Yeah. So. Good suggestion. Mm -hmm. yeah. right there. Yeah. 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 I think it's going to be a very busy place. Yeah. Ready for a restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. Be fun. Yeah. Um, Your patience will pay off. <laughs> <laughs> I've uh, played music for years as well, oh, um, yeah. mostly down the old Orchard Beach area. Over the years. And, uh, there were a couple of players from across the way played all over the state, and once in a while we probably have some music there as well. Back. Um, so 
you'll see it in the little burners I'll lit up to light some night. But, uh, I know this Madison Anson days. And all right. I played for that a couple of years ago, actually. Is that an additional permit? That's a special one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Any, any other questions? Comments? Anything? Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Dean Partridge's wife. You and your dad and mom. Yes, yes, yeah. Yes, I'm running into a lot of people. I've <laughs> seen a lot. Uh, and just as far as you know, the business, I, I got my culinary degree when I was 30. I went back to school and was in the business. And I had a school lunch program for a couple of years called Walt Farmingdale. Managed a few restaurants, sold food. Um, they got into the crazy business of medical billing and doing that for the last 20 some years. And time to get out of healthcare and get back to your career. <coughs> well, we're all set. I'll declare the public hearing over. Number two is the minutes of April 24. <laughs>
crane rigging, I guess is what you would call it. What we use is um, <coughs> the pumps in and out with. Well, it's not certified, it's a homemade one, so we got a bottle of certified. And then the ball pack for that is like $1,000. And then talk to Dale and uh, Darren Priest and Stevens Electric. Okay. I've got a site now that we're looking at. But the cheapest one I've found so far is like 1900 or something. So. And then the other one is a little crane thing you got to put up over the <coughs> manhole cover there. So when we go down in and hook the cable to us, so if something happens, we crank us up. Um, someone can crank us back up. Out. We could get one of them too. So. And a couple of the other things were. You get to put the little guys on the Yeah, I get the batteries done and cleaned up in front of the left of the box. So. Yeah. And they want us to um, paint the eaves at the pump stations um, and the flashing around one of the, the pipes. pipes. Yeah. Yeah. And they want us to remove some of the stuff that's up back here from the building that we took down over there. And for the windmill, it looked pretty good. They didn't really write us up on anything with that. So we'll just have to get this list done, um, submit it to MMA, and then be done with it. But he will need to uh, purchase. I don't have to purchase the lifting device for the for us when we go in and have a hole and the crane. Because that's what we use on um, pump station one and pump station five to pull the pumps when anything happens. Your motion to allow yeah. make motion to allow Lottie to buy crane pump stations. Second. Move consecutive and put on discussion. All those in favor? I observe. Um the Nullet Road case has been dismissed for the town of Anson. Yeah. We've got the dismissed um signed by the judge. Um, the case isn't dismissed. They're still going to court, um, but the town is at this point out of it. The only thing we will have to do is clear up the discontinuance depending on what the judge orders. So as for the town, that is taken care of right now. Um, as far as foreclosed property, we're still trying to mark some of the lots out. Artie went to quite a little jaunt um, to find one of the lots that's in the middle of the woods. He does have the sale sign on it. We will be putting them out to bid. Um, there's a house up on Madison Street that will go out. Um, there's one over here that maybe a lot of still dealing with the bank on it because the banks own two of these properties. So I'm still dealing with them. Um, there's also one on Endon Farm Road, but there's a huge lien which has not been discharged and the town doesn't quite trump the state. So, and it's a $110,000 lien, so we're going to sit on that a little longer. Um, and I but has knocked down um, the Dooley House as of this week, so that property, once it's cleaned up, will actually go out a bit also. Had a lot of the neighbors coming in <coughs> want to bid on that property, so we'll put that out to bid as soon as we get it cleaned up, and the fire department is supposed to burn the pile down at some point. Um, so yes. that's where that is sitting right now. Um, that's all I have for right now. Questions for Kevin? Thank you. Number five, discuss the petition opposing the CMP transmission line. Um, yeah, we received a uh, petition on May 3rd. Um, Nancy went through and verified all the signatures. There was 110 signatures. Um, they needed 91, and they had exactly 91. So the petition is fine. Um, some of them, of course, weren't registered voters. Um, so at this point, the board should um, set it for a special town meeting. Um, you have 60 days um, to do this. So I guess we need to pick a date. Um, I do have a regular state election coming in. Not sure when the school election is. So I'm thinking around June 
wonders that what's that meeting date? The twenty fifth. Twenty fifth. Yes. Yeah. If that's good, we'll have it at a school at one of the schools. I'll call the schools and see which one is available, depending what work is being done in what schools. Um, if we can, we'll try the high school, um, but we'll see to make sure we can have it. Um, so we'll just hold our meeting. We'll have a special town meeting there, and then we'll just hold our meeting after that. If that date is good with you guys. That's our second meeting in June. Right. I, I, had a, I had a thought today. I, I'm not sure what school we have. It's probably the high school maybe. As long as it's available. Would it be possible to give more people a, a chance to have this, their opinion heard on this to have a non-binding paper ballot, uh, either opposing or not opposing? We can do it by written ballot at, if you want. At one of either the school board election or the general election. If you did it at the school board election, it might draw more people out to vote for the school budget. And more people would have a chance to to have an opinion Is that a possibility? You, you can, but that's not a meeting to voice their opinion. That's just a meeting for their vote. So if you're going to do it that way, like the school people are just voting, and then we tally the votes at the end of the day. Yeah. So Why can you have a second ballot? Just ask it to do Well, we could, but it's not. I don't have an issue with that, but it's not going to give the people. I think you'd have to have a public hearing prior to it. Right. It's, it's not going to give them like, a say. Information because they're just going to come in and vote yes or no, but if they actually want to talk about and, and ask questions, then to me, you would do it in a special town meeting forum. Okay. Unless you guys want to do it. just a thought. I mean. Right. I mean, I... No, we need to let everybody be here. That's up to you guys. I mean, it doesn't matter to me either way. Well, the petition was for a town meeting, right? I think it's a special town meeting. somebody wants a special meeting to get information on it and stuff, we can set that up between now and when the school budget has to go back out to be voted on. But we'll get more people voting if we do it during the school one. I believe the law says we have to have a special town meeting. Right. That will be a special town meeting. The school budget's a special town meeting. This is the second one, it's a special one. No, that's not a special town meeting. That's just the, that's their voting day. That's not a special town meeting. Day. That's the district's. That's a district's voting day. Voting talks. Yeah. I mean, and, and your petition specifically says the vote is for their consideration of a special town meeting within 60 days per our 30 AM RSA 2522. So it is definitely clearly says special town meeting. Yes. My name is Marianne A. Um, is there a, a way where during that, the school board um, vote day, that you could do a special town meeting for the benefit of information, questions and such, and then after that, um, follow through with the vote at the same time, but have two different ballots? No, the, the school board meeting is going to run all day. The school board vote. They come and vote all day. There's no meeting. There's nobody discussing anything. Right. People realize the budget's up there. They come in, they vote, they leave. Right. So there, there would be no meetings going on. No, um, I'm asking if there could be, that could be the special town meeting day at the same time. I don't even know when they're going. They, they, the, the school board has not even set a date yet. They're meeting tomorrow night. Okay. I, um, and I just thought I'd throw that out there to kind of get everybody a one-shot deal, I guess. Have it information, then what? vote on it, that type of thing, as well as the school vote. This, uh, this is about the town of Hanson, not about the district. Correct. 
Correct. Yeah. So I don't see how it could be at any school board meeting. It's not the kind of yeah, it's not a because you have to you have to distinguish who the citizens of Hanson are from but with the from, people from, from the town. The people being the town don't go here to the town. Right, but it doesn't give any meeting. It doesn't give a time for a meeting for that unless you have the meeting after the school budget. But if you have the special town meeting after that, you're voting at that special town meeting. We, you can certainly do a ballot at the special town meeting if you want to do it that way. So everybody votes by ballot. Now, when ballot clerks here and then count the votes, I mean, it could be done that way. Well, if, well, you, that yeah, if, well, you, that had, if you had a public hearing prior to whatever the election date was passed, and then you had just a non binding ballot just for the town of Anson to let people vote whether they oppose it or don't oppose it at that time, if you've had the public hearing first, and we can do a public hearing at our next meeting. Right, you're gonna have you're gonna have at least ten days to post the public hearing. Right, but we could do that at our next election. I believe this says special town meeting. I think if you go away from that, someone can challenge it at a later time. Either yeah. side can yeah. challenge it, and then you're going into a bigger mass. It's, it's, it well, would be nice if we all could vote, you know, all day long, have an all day vote, but this says a special town meeting. A special town meeting is a group of people from the town meeting. But, but it's all non binding anyway, no matter what happens. Right. I mean, we, it's a non binding vote. Whether you do it at a town meeting, you do it like that. Can you have a special town meeting but then have the vote? I'm just you asking. You can have a written ballot at a special town meeting. Right, but what I'm saying is if you have the special town meeting for informational purposes and then you can vote at the like people are, are suggesting, the same time we vote for the school, just a well, different I, ballot? I don't think so. I, think I didn't know if it had to be done at the same time. It starts, it starts, it's information, you vote, yeah. and then... So it does have to all be done at yes. the same time. And you okay. check, you check yeah. your yeah. register like you would do on election day. Yeah. So when you come to a special town meeting, you're going to come in, checked in as a registered voter. Mm -hmm. and the same thing. Sure. So, uh, I mean... Why don't we just do it on the same day then? It, it was, you have to be a registered voter to be admitted right. to the is, special town meeting. You have to be a registered voter of Anson and North Anson to take place in the special town meeting, yes. Okay. Yes. And it will be posted where on the sign? Yeah. Or we'll, and mailing? We'll hit the left, we'll, yep. We'll hit the, um, we have an email list serve that we'll hit saying when the meeting is. We'll, put, we'll post it on the sign and I have to, I'll post it at the post office, I post it here, I'll post it up to North Anson, just like I do on all the elections, your school okay. elections, your your state elections, I mean that will all be posted just like we have to, there's certain guidelines, state laws that we have to follow. It needs to be duly posted by so and so or whatever. Oh okay. yes, yep. So the special town meeting will be to discuss or if we want to have a vote, Yes, I mean, what the special town meeting is you're going to have a moderator and we'll open it up. The moderator will open it up. We'll go to Article 1, just like your town meetings are. You'll go to Article 1, he'll read it, he'll ask if there's any discussion, make a motion, you, then you guys can discuss it once it's on the floor. Um, and then you vote. And then right, you vote. I mean, if you guys want to vote by ballot, I just need to know that because as a town clerk, you're going to prepare for the ballot and stuff, so we would need to know that in advance. Yes, I have a written ballot. Okay. Yeah. And that would be done by motion at the meeting. Correct. But I just will have them ready for yeah. you guys in advance. So the first order is to accept the petition, I think. I think a motion would accept the petition. Second. <coughs> you can it. Any further discussion? All those in favor? And then would be to set June 25th, I believe it's the it is. date it's we have talked about. Yep. Okay, make a motion to set the uh, special town meeting on June 25th at 6. Is that good? Is that good? Yep. At 6 p.m. Second. Moved and seconded. Any further discussion? All those in favor? 
Right, so, and it'll be at, we will, I guess, prefer to have it up to Caravac, but if not, it'll be at your tank, but there's plenty of time to get that sorted out. Thank you. Set? Thank you. Number six, come off the storage. Come off the storage. Yes, I need to word that correctly because they think it's the highway drive. So I have. Um, Maddie and Nancy are doing these because MD construction did put a bid in, so I'm just wondering if you guys have that. Do you have a bid for MD construction for 39000 $897. A bid from main highways contracting for $69,498. This is just the one that's the only one
<laughs> I wasn't going to say that. <laughs> yeah, so we'll check it out. Out. Public session? Yes, ma'am. I just have a suggestion. This is all this is. The town website, I go to that quite often to see what the on the agenda, just to stay informed. But I noticed there are no minutes ever posted on that. And the agenda is so brief, it really doesn't tell you what happens mm -hmm. in the meeting. Um, may I suggest that you post the minutes sure. as well? Um, I think it would be another way to keep the people informed. Good idea. Um, okay. Yeah. Anything else? I'll give these to you guys so you can look them over. Give you a heads up on the, some of the things that we can talk about in the information we can the CFP for. Mrs. Foster. I have a question. Um, you stated that the vote is non-binding. Explain to me what that means. Well, I said that. Well, it's not. Oh. We can't. We're not going to actually stop. The we can't. Building. A vote here isn't going to stop the CMP code. It is. Okay. It, it, will, it will express the town concerns, the town citizen's opinion on whether we should go forward or not. Okay. And, and that information will be passed on to Lurk or whoever is actually making the final decisions on whether that. It's my understanding from what I read on the website for the project that CMP currently owns the land that this project would go on. Some of it. I think. Some of it. So does that mean they would have to take some of it by eminent domain? Well, I, guess, I guess north of the, uh, where I understand north is some land that they have to. Not an answer. So, so within an this town. Not an answer. So within this town there would be no property that they would have to take no. No. because they currently own right. all of the property. Um, and so um, I had a bunch of questions, but it looks like the better place to ask them would be at that meeting because we're not here tonight to discuss the project itself. Right. Okay. Now I'm, I'm assuming that we submitted a letter of support initially. Would that retract our letter of support? I think it's possible we have to do it, right? It, it doesn't actually retract it. It says to see if the town, well, if the first article, depending how that vote goes, the second article will say to see if the town will vote to authorize the selectman to submit a letter of opposition. Okay. So at that point, depending what happens to the vote, um, they can say that there was an election held on such a date, this is how many voters turned out, and this was, this is what the result was, what, is right. what that letter is going to state. Understanding that it, would, it could still go through, but at least if if it is right. voted that the most the majority oppose it. Right, mm -hmm. and of course okay. we, will, we will follow probably state guidelines on how it should be written. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's how that would be written. It will follow by the state guidelines that this petition was done. And I'm assuming, you know, <coughs> someone overlook this because I can see how the, the laws quoted and stuff, so we'll follow those guidelines. Yes. Um, oh gosh, I already forgot the question. I was just going to ask. Oh, will there be somebody there from the project to answer questions? To I'm the sure. Okay. You'll be invited at least. Okay. And we'll have the town assessor there also. If there's people questions on on the tax base, they, they will be there also to inform them. Okay. Anything else? No, no, no. Uh, look. That makes sure. <laughs> <laughs> now, under the hot heads, um, I was going to ask you folks, when we have more vacation, if we could use our seasonal worker to fill in for the first and summer vacation, so we'll still have a full crew, because it's one, I'm going on vacation the last week or two. And the hospital road, we need to get a crack seal. It's going to take four people to get it done. And then we looked in the hiring at work flaggers and pay them as $19 an hour. Plus all the paperwork we have to pay and go through the campaign. But that was. And we pay our season work at $15 an hour. So that's a $4 an hour savings by using our seasonal worker versus a network flag. And it's not going to be a lot, but like, I'm going to be gone, and that's hopefully we'll have some good weather so that we can take and do the track ceiling. And then it's different. Yeah. Uh, and it happens 
Yeah, I know. <laughs> One day a week. But, uh, you know, if I can line this stuff up so it can happen, if it's all right with you folks, or I want to run that by you. <clears throat>